That's it. Yes. My, my, the reticent cowboy. Hello? I, you never told me your name. Jim, Milk, John, Marston. Which? John Marston. Long story. I'm a writer. I love stories. Ah, uh, another time. Guess I'm as big a fraud as you claim to be. I'm trying, John. My wife didn't understand. Doesn't understand. The parish priest has taken to writing me missives about the exact nature of my sins. The parish priest! Can you imagine? Oh, what a petty-minded lot they are. I was attracted by my fraudulent fame, by the idea of me as some kind of provincial seer. Oh, makes me sick. But here, I live like a man. I'm feeble, but alive. <laughs> I'm a man! For the first time in my life, I'm a man. Okay. Or, I'm still a coward, but a real man would happily die rather than live as I do. Uh, I don't know about that. We... <laughs> we're all scared of something. Something within us. But me, I'm nothing but fear. Fear and doubt and lies. Just a glimpse of how other men have coped and lived and survived and flourished. There are days when I sit here and weep about all the things that I've lost. We've lost. We true Americans. We peasants. We are killing this place, John Marston. Killing what? This. This great beauty. This truth. What are you talking about? Come. Let me show you. Where are we headed? Prepare to be shocked. Come along. Follow me. Unless you're showing me Bigfoot, you should know. <laughs> I'm not so easily shocked, Mr. Miller. But you will be. Wait until you see the waste, the boundless appetites of these men. I know you will be horribly shocked because I see that frontier spirit in you. The self-reliance, the harmony with nature that us, us modern men have so lamentably lost. I hate to spoil your impression of me, but I've been known to eat from a can just as often as from my gut. Oh, no. Up there. The poor creature is caught in a bear trap. John, can you do something? Uh, let me see. The cruelty of it. If you could pry it open, it may recover. Stay calm. It would be far too much for my feeble limbs, I'm afraid. Let me try to get you out of this. Those contraptions. They are unforgiving and indiscreet. Uh. You did it! It's free. A second chance at life. Maybe. As long as that wound don't go bad. Oh. Still, better to die free than in the jaws of a machine. Now, come on. We have further to ride. The men I'd like to show you, they could have set that trap. Hunters? I've seen hunters, sir, and like I said, I've been one myself. Hunting for food or skins is one thing, but dredging rivers, burning out forests, killing everything you find and leaving all but the most valuable parts to rot, that is who these men are. They are the rapaciousness of our financial markets let loose in the wilderness. A sign that our way of life has come to an end. I see plenty of those signs. You men are heathens! Ignoble savages! Animals! Shit, look! Look at what What's you... What's your problem? You... You're... You're... Shut up. Oh. Hey. Uh. Uh.
That... that was clarity, John. <laughs> this... this place... this... this heaven and hell. The duality. I think you got hit on the head. Come on, let's get you out of here before more of them show up. But... I think we've made our point. Now, come on, let's go. Let's go, boy. 